can anyone prepare for this one, truly? Oh, I will say, I didn't know this, so we're obviously fake Nihon cinema fans. Oh no, what did we do? Do you know that egg scene from Dead Sushi? The eggs, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was an allusion to another movie. Oh, what movie? I don't know, I had to look it up. Oh, okay. It, tell, tell me... I googled egg yolk kiss Japan. Ah, Because okay. I was like, yes. is this like a Japanese thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, right, like, right. I mean, not to be like like making fun, but you know, mm-hmm. like people do weird stuff for like mm-hmm. romance and stuff. Yeah. Like making out. I mean, Americans, you know, eat hamburgers while they make out. That's that's a very typical that's normal a very thing that we American do. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we don't do that. No, because we're not real Americans. Yeah. So. But also making out is gross. What did you what did you find out? It's from Tom Popo. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you know what that is. I do. I knew you would know, but yeah. Sorry, yeah, we are fake. Uh we have we've not watched Tom Popo. So uh, now you know that that was actually an illusion. Well not illusion, yeah. Michael. <laughs> illusion. It's, this is all an illusion. Uh it feels like it. Why does your voice sound so like Jolie right now. What Jolie? Like, what do you mean? Like up when Joel was did vine wrestle and his voice was all ah, Probably because we spent all day yesterday. Oh, yeah, talking. we were talking all day yesterday. <laughs> I, so. I just like recognized that it sounds that way today and I didn't know. Oh. Thanks well, for calling me out no. on the podcast no, that fine. we're doing. It's fine. This is a podcast. Hello everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Hello. <laughs> so but truly, as I was, as I said at the beginning, can, could any of us be prepared for? Uh, hold on, checks notes. Alien versus Ninja. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no is the correct I answer. I love. I. I just like. I. I. I know. I know you're gonna say, but Kylie, you picked this one. But we keep picking movies uh-huh. that have damn. Nasty visuals that make yeah, me feel true. like I need to close my eyes. No, that's admittedly, true. in this one, it wasn't as bad. We also keep pe- picking really horny movies. Yeah. Unintentionally. Okay, so, like, <clears throat> in this movie, there is an alien, or mm-hmm. there are a lot of aliens. And, the, and there are a lot of ninjas. And, you know. You said ninjas. Well, because I'm an American. Oh. I'm not a real American because I don't need... do cheeseburger makeouts, but I am an American. <laughs> but, um,. The the, the, the alien, you know how we were talking in Dead Sushi mm-hmm. last week mm-hmm. about the hand grabby booby thing. Mm-hmm. The alien did the hand grabby booby thing. Yep. How did that make you feel? I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Why would an alien do that? I mean, unless aliens like really like boobs. I guess because yeah, boobs just transcend. You know, They're, boobs are universal. Yeah. 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 Universal boobs. Yeah. It's like it's like galaxy brain, but for boobs. <laughs> so okay, so Alien vs. Ninja is the uh, it was the 2010 uh, film written and directed by Seiji Chiba, uh, whose filmography I looked at a little bit. It seems like there's a lot of ninja movies in there, um, so this seems to be something of a forte uh, going on here. And uh, a lot of them sound like they're probably also somewhat comedic, as this one was. Like, um... It was, like, comedic but serious a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true, that's true. Um, also, uh, because I don't have a ton of, like, super-duper interesting facts about this movie, um, the, the one that I do have that I find interesting uh, is that... So, so this movie was made by Nikatsu, which is why you know it is a highly respectable top-tier movie. Um, you know, because it's a very serious movie. It's very serious. Yeah. Uh, it was made by one of their labels, uh, Sushi Typhoon, which they created in 2010. Uh, so the same year this movie came out for the purpose of doing like low-budget genre movies, like horror, sci-fi, stuff like that. They released, uh, as far as I can tell, seven movies, and then went on indefinite hiatus. So and they're still on indefinite hiatus. Yes, oh. and this was the first of of those seven. I feel like that 
Now we need to embark on this saga of, of covering sushi all typhoon. seven of them. Yeah. Uh, I've seen one of the other ones, and I I liked it quite a lot. Uh, but I don't know. About Wait, the why other have five. you seen it and I haven't? Uh, was it because it was years ago? It was back in like 2011. Oh, oh, yeah. what yeah. was it? Uh, Cold Fish. Uh, it's a Shion Sono movie. Yeah, that you've does told me about not. It. <laughs> I would not have guessed that was one on this list. Wow. <laughs> but there you go. So so Alien vs. Ninja is the gripping tale of uh, during the Tokugawa period, um, a group of ninja who live in a village uh, that seems to mostly be populated by other ninja. And <laughs> it's basically Naruto. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's the thing, right? It's basically Naruto with aliens because basically the whole all right village... and no spoilers if if naruto gets aliens later oh yeah yeah if the the don't spoil the naruto dbz crossover for us where where cell <laughs> uh you know fights uh sasuke yeah um, we don't need to know about it no no but so yeah so they're they're in this village and they're ninja and they all go out on missions and they do and there are shenanigans three three, th- three people per three squad shinobi per squad and uh, there's the elder, who's uh, he's old and wise and a little little creepy, uh, who's kind of the Hokage, <laughs> and uh, it just so happens that when this uh, group of aliens come and happen upon this village, everybody out is off or everybody else is out on on missions. Uh, so it's up to this squad or these two squads, I guess, because I think there's like six ninja total. Um, to to defend against these aliens, it's crazy. It's but no, yeah, it, it's it definitely feels like the uh, power structure was pulled directly from Naruto. Yeah, like it could just be an episode from or like a like a a short like arc arc yeah. from Naruto. Yeah. So what did you think of Alien versus Ninja? Okay, so basically the whole time I was like. This is just Power Rangers. <laughs> like the whole time, it just felt like Power Rangers because, like, it was mostly, m- mostly practical effects, mm-hmm. which I think was actually a really good aspect of it. Yes, like, I, I agree. I I liked that. I love practical effects mm-hmm. in movies. I think practical effects always look better. I mean, we were actually just discussing this about how Lord of the Rings and the prequel trilogy of Star Wars, yeah, came out or like were produced like. Basically, at the same time. Generally, around the same time period, mm-hmm. and the like, the star, the um, Lord of the Rings trilogy stands up so much better mm-hmm. than the prequels. And I love the prequels. So, oh, yeah. like, everybody can yeah. be bad in the comments about that. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I grew up on the prequels, so I love them. Like, right. I, I just, I do. Like, I like the whole like when they're in the thing in the arena and they're tied up to the pillars and then the like all those other the three like alien thingies mm-hmm. come out and they're like Rrr! like that's the best part yeah, yeah. that's awesome that's and the then, best Star Wars and then Obi Wan is like riding that lizard mm-hmm. thingy mm-hmm. and it like runs mm-hmm. and I want to ride yeah. I want to ride a running lizard thingy mm-hmm. so I'm just saying yeah. I'm just saying hey I'm I'm not disagree- disagreeing uh. It's a. I think it's at this point kind of a generational thing, and we grew. We were babies when those movies came out. Yeah, young young babies. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, I I really like the fact that they use practical effects, like even the like, the tiny little baby aliens. Yep. Yeah, and I mean even the full grown alien is just it's that's the Power Ranger thing, right? It's it's just yeah, a dude in a yeah. rubber suit. I mean, yeah, that that's why it felt like very Power Ranger to me. Mm-hmm. But like, I didn't. I, d- I didn't dislike it, but it just, like, it kind of had that, like, I don't know, I don't want to say low budget, but, I mean, right. it is low budget. Right. Like, it had that low budget feel, but, like, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, as much as, like, I'm not really one for horniness in movies because it doesn't really appeal to me, necessarily. Uh-huh. Um, and, like, it, I thought it was really funny that we just watched this movie about, you know, the woman who, like, oh, the scorn of my father because I was born with a vagina. And yep. then we have the only other woman present in this movie is also, like, oh, the scorn because I have a vagina, yeah. you know. Also from my father because yeah. he wanted a oh, son. Yeah, because he wanted a son. It was, so like, it's the exact same so like, thing. I, like, it's, like, okay, the trope is, like, it's like okay. Mm-hmm. But, like... Unfortunately, that is just the case 
generally speaking. Um, oh, yeah. M- many fathers have much scorn. Over the fact that their daughters have vaginas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah um, people get weirdly upset about that. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> um, but, but, I mean, taking that into account, obviously, misogyny aside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, it did feel like watching Power Rangers as a kid. Yes. And I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually really liked the fight scenes in it. Oh, I did too. Honestly, honestly, that, or uh, this and Dead Sushi also share that in common, where they're both really, really goofy and uh, often needlessly horny, but the fight choreography is really good. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I, I probably, like, just personally speaking, prefer this over Dead Sushi. That makes sense. Because I could actually watch it. Yeah. Um, but there is some, like, nasty hole action. <laughs> <laughs> you can't show that on TV. <laughs> I can't say that on podcasts. Yeah, I mean, you can. Like, people can use their imagination. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I had fun with it. Like, again, it's one of those movies where, like, like Eli and I really enjoy watching, like, dumb B movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. even like Q movies. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if we're going down the alphabet. Sure, sure. In terms of like quality. P movies. <laughs> Pee <Pee-pee>. pee. <laughs> no, no. See, that's, there's, there's too much pee pee. Yeah. In, in, in the movies, and that makes them too horny. Yeah. So, but, so like, you have to understand that, like, if you don't like that kind of movie, then just don't watch this. Like, yeah. it's just like, it's just. But also, like, how would you have come across this? <laughs> this is not exactly like a, a well marketed. It's pretty niche. Yeah. And you can't watch this online. Right? It's on, was it on uh, archive? It was on, uh. It was on something. I think, I think this is available on, uh, Funimation with a premium subscription. So there you go. So if you have a subscription to Funimation, check out Alien vs. Ninja, yeah. uh, right now. I mean, it was fun. I, yeah. I, it's one of those movies where it's like, it's, it's not good. Like, for all yeah. intents and purposes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not good. But I had fun. It's again, like we said with Dead Sushi, like, mm-hmm. play a drinking game. Like every time the alien drools, for example, yep. <laughs> could be yeah. take a drink. <laughs> right. You will be drunk quickly. <laughs> Very yes. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's good. If you if you're the type of person who likes something like Dead Sushi, uh, or if you like, you know, Super Sentai Power Rangers type stuff, um, Check it out. It's a, it's like an intersection of those things. I really wish we used the word shinobi mm-hmm. instead of ninja. ninja. Yeah. Like I can't remember. Like it's been a really it's been a few years yeah. since we like looked into like the history of all that and like. I know there's an episode of the show on the channel where we talk about the difference between those two words and why Americans or English speakers use the word ninja. And I don't remember off the top of my head why. But I just, like, I love Shinobi. Shino- yeah, I mean, it sounds more, like, mysterious and respectable. Yeah, I don't I mean, know why. I don't <laughs> it know. just does. I don't know. It's a cool word. Ninja. <laughs> I don't know. Nin- nin- ninjas is just, like, I don't know. Maybe, But maybe that's because we've heard the word ninja our whole lives. Maybe, and yeah. Not, and we haven't heard Shinobi our whole lives. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? What do you, Drop a... Nin, uh, uh, there's a... Drop a ninja emoji. Is there is there a ninja emoji? Yeah, I think there is. Okay, yeah. Put that if you got this far. Yeah. This is probably going to be the shortest episode so far. Yeah. Because we don't have a whole lot to say about this movie. So we picked this one as part of our like spooky spectacular for Halloween. Right. We have some really good ones coming up. We're very, very excited to yes. discuss them. Um, and I don't know, what do you think? Do you think aliens count as, like, a Halloween mix? Like, when mm-hmm. you think... See, so, okay, so when I was younger, mm-hmm. so this was last week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I helped participate in the annual haunted house right. that one of the schools, like, put on. And it was, like, actually, like, a good haunted house. Like, it was, it was a little scary, you mm-hmm. know? And, um... Like, we actually kind of made it scary, even though, like, we weren't supposed to. Oh, no. We would, like, scare people. Yeah. But we we always had, like, we had, like, somebody who would, like, let us know from the other rooms if a kid was coming. Oh, okay. Because uh, we wouldn't scare the kids. That's, that's good. That's not nice. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, um, I did that three years in a row. Okay. And one year, I was an alien. Oh. Okay. And I had to shoot the guide, mm-hmm. that the human guide that they had that was walking them through the maze. Right. And so I had to shoot the guide, and then I, like, took them captive. Oh. And, like, brought them onto the ship. I mean, that's pretty spooky. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, like, um, but, like, do you associate aliens with Halloween? Like, I mm-hmm. mean, are aliens part of the Halloween, like, motif and, like, genre in general, you know? Yeah. Because, like... So there's this grounding exercise I do. Okay. I am really padding, but I can do a good job with this. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> that where basically you uh, think of a category and you think of one thing for each letter of the alphabet for that category. Okay. So like obviously with fruit, it would be like apple, banana, carrot. Carrot's not a fruit. We're going to move on. <laughs> Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> um, so I, I recently I've been doing Halloween. Right. But I keep getting stuck on A. <laughs> So I just, I just keep skipping it okay. and using apple because I'm like, uh, yeah, no. well, people bob for apples on Halloween. Yeah, that's fair. So like apple works, you know, yeah. but I never thought to use alien. Alien. I never thought to use it. Mm-hmm. So, Until just now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is alien part of the Halloween genre? I think so. What I do you, think what so. Do you, what do you think? We picked it for the horror aspect. Yeah, uh, because this was on a list that I found on uh, movie.com of Japanese horror movies through the decades. And it was, you know, several hundred entries from the 1930s until present. And this just offhandedly was like, oh, that sounds like a, that, that sounds like a movie, you know? And uh, I, I guess... I don't know if we were actually expecting it to be more horror anti- oriented, but it's... I honestly don't know what I was expecting when I picked this. with a title like Alien versus, versus Ninja. Ninja. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was just kind of like yeah. you never know. Yeah. Did I expect something akin to Power Rangers? No, right. I did not. Yeah. So, what did you all think of Alien versus Ninja? Leave uh, a leave an alien emote. Yeah, if you if got, you this, got far. this far. They, we'll know. We'll know who, who the real ones are. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you, got, you gotta have both. Or, yes. Or else we, we're watching. We're gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> let us let us know what you think. Um, if you're on YouTube, we're also on Spotify. There's a link in the description. If you're on Spotify, we're also on YouTube. There's other videos that you have no idea about if you're on Spotify because there's not that much over here. Uh, let us know what you thought below. Uh, we've pretty much got all the rest of the movies for the month picked out, but always we're open for more uh, suggestion for horror and horror adjacent genres. So drop them in the comments below. Smash that like button. Suplex that subscribe. We I think we just passed nineteen thousand uh, subscribers. So thank you. Wow. For that. Yeah. That's took you long enough. No. That's impressive. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it is. Uh, uh, I'm very welcome. Happy with that. I Thank apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, let us let us know what you think, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time. On the dark side of the moon, cause aliens. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>